long good climb in 1.1 kilometres to have a big impact on the bunch. This is our front group of riders. We can start to see the contours of the course if you haven't watched any of the races so far. This is us going up Mount Oosley and then up over Mount Pleasant, over to the top of the climb. And the fans have all come out in their thousands to cheer on these riders, give them as much encouragement as possible. And I think this atmosphere for the rest of this race is going to be absolutely stunning this afternoon. The gradients of this climb are not necessarily ultra steep, but it's the amount of times we go up it that makes a difference, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. So after this time over, they will have another five times up those two climbs. And there's not too much uh, time on this course to really rest. It's only that last four kilometres into the finish where they can sit up, take something to eat, something to drink, and uh, then the corners start again on the way back through the city circuit. But I don't think she's going to be saying that this afternoon, is she? Well, I think for the stronger riders in the peloton, the harder the race, the better. So Anna McVan Williams, we've spoken a lot about her today. She's the rider that needs a really hard race and a race of attrition as well. So it's hard for an extended period of time. So even like riders, like what we saw at the front of the peloton just a moment ago, Ashley Norman Passio is at the very front. She's sitting just beside, behind the Australian uh, Sarah Roy and a Spanish rider, Mavi Garcia, as well. She also needs a hard race, so the harder they ride up these two climbs each lap, the better it's going to suit the stronger riders and the better climbers in this peloton. You just mentioned that Ashley Mulman Passio, this year in Amstel Gold, Ashley Mulman Passio was the driving force in, in Amstel Gold, and just before the top of the Kalberg, she swung over, and at that point, Marta Cavalli attacked and took the victory. Ashley Mulman Passio ultimately didn't end up in the top places overall, but she looked the strongest. I wonder whether Mulman Passio will have learned from that experience.